So now I'm just going to unbolt the coolant tank and see if we can't move it out of the way just a little bit. You might just have one of the little rubber things, bushings that it sits right. in on the bottom. It could. You just pull straight up or something. Oh, yeah. I heard rubber. You do. Ooh. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if that There's not much, well. there's not much ways right. you can maneuver it. Got so many connections. Maybe I can drop it down a little bit, or like, I can, I can like lift it a little bit. All right, I can see the I can see the next one from back here. I might try to universal joint it. Mmm. That seems like a good. What do we got going on? Good method to get it. Did you get cylinder three yet? No. Okay. I'm trying to get. I might. I might go right here. Mind if I occupy the yes, spot? Yes, occupy where, the spot that I am in. Bamra. I'll occupy right here then. I'll occupy Wall Street. I need longer XXX tension. Good thing I have them. Cylinder one, cylinder two. Cylinder three and cylinder four back there. Let's see about this. We get like a an initial angle of dangle. Grab the flashlight real quick. Mm -hmm. To see if I, I there. I. You want me to hold flash? No, you, you're better off holding it. You know what you're looking for. Just put there. XXX tension too long. You fall down, pull them up. That's good right there. Oh, good. It was just universal joint binding up a little bit. All right, and now without dropping the light down the back of the engine. Cylinder four? Yeah. Let me see if there's a spot I can like wedge the light. You already got five through eight, right? Yeah, there's only one left. Oh, okay. Is that gonna fall? I cannot tell. Indeterminate on the fall. Look at that. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Right. Perfect view. And you're still recording? Still recording. Alright, so here's the last one. I can't tell if I'm on oh, it or not. You are on it. I'm gonna loosen up a good amount. That's probably that's um, probably plenty. Hold on. Yeah. You might have just got oh no no, you were on it. Sorry, I was looking at cylinder number three's bolt. 
warm bolt. There you go. Come on, light. We're at quite, quite the ludicrous ISO setting. A lot of pixies going across the sensor. Maybe a little bit less angle of dangle. I think that's on it. Yeah, I think I see it rotating. Oh yeah, it definitely is rotating. That should be enough. This is hard, but not as hard as retrieving an EHA valve from between the starter motor and yeah. block of a 190 Sportline in the middle of the woods in Massachusetts. Facts. All right, so now I think it's just kind of lifted up, and then there are a couple lines underneath to disconnect. Um, let me get this. This isn't easy. Okay. Let me know when record. Oh, recording, recording. All right. Um, so now that we have all the clamps undone for the throttle bodies. I'm just going to pop off the inlet air temperature sensor. Might need a flathead for it or a pick. Did you push it down for that, for that type of connector? Like push it that way? Yeah. Genius. Sick. It's very I leave, similar to I leave there. many all right, now I'm gonna start to pull up. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right, now I'm gonna pull up the sides and the back and just try to release them. Oh, they feel like they're ready to go. So there's, if you wanna come around here, there's one. Yes. Let me get already two. I think there's another one of those like airlines that needs to come. So back here, there's another airline that needs to come undone, um, and it's the same same style as this one, where you push push the two plastic pieces to unclamp it. Air injection type stuff. I'm definitely pushing on the right. Oh, every throttle has its own barcode. It's <laughs> interesting. Ooh, what's this thing? I don't know what that is. Um, PCV. All right, actually, I might get this Valve. line, that line right there first. Okay. So that's just going to be right here. All right, that one was painless. Yep. There's a little elbow on the bottom, I'm assuming, right? I think it's there's still that one on the back. Oh. Looks like it's ready to come out. Maybe just need to put it back a little bit. Can you take can you Oh, I see what's going on here. That big guy. Let me switch spots with you, so I can like extend my hand straight. Oh, I'm going this way. Yeah. <laughs> You're regretting having another person here now? <laughs> no, it's not so bad. So I'm going to move that up out of the way. Is that it? There it is. Alright, that one just came unclipped. And now we should just be able to lift the manifold out. Now. There might be another connection underneath it. Maybe. Nope. Yes. Manifold review. Here we go. You're good. So what you have to take off are these eight clamps um, on the throttle bodies. Um, and some of them are difficult to take off. Then you have to unclip um, this small airline at the front of the plenum and then this larger airline at the rear. And that's it. Beautiful fiberglass reinforced linkages. Fascinating. Wow. 
Wow, looks like there's an animal living in here. Oh wait, mm -hmm. no, it's just BMW wiring. Mm-hmm. I think it's not soybean based, or maybe it is. What are we doing? Now we're just cleaning up around the we're cleaning up around the throttle bodies so no dust falls into them uh, when we replace the actuators. What's the compression ratio? The S85 V8 has a compression ratio of 12 to 1. Okay, so you definitely don't want any dust in there. No. Because dust doesn't compress. <laughs> Okay. All right, so now that the plenum is off, I'm going to remove or unbolt the wiring harness and then might need to unclip a couple things. Uh, and then from there, we'll lift up the harness and then we'll access the two throttle actuators. You can see the plugs there and there. Um, we'll access them kind of through the front like that. So first we'll just get the harness loose here and very careful not to drop the bolts mm -hmm. or the nuts not even bolts so it would be more of a pain to find them yes and put them over here and then let me see I don't think I need anything else to lift this up oh maybe that guy back there where is this tension made? In Germany. In in regular BMW factories or separate M facility? I have no idea, to be honest. Probably separate M facility, but. Mm. Um, the air pumps going everywhere. Imagine if you had loosened all of these nuts here. And then you had to recalibrate the throttles. Oh my god. That'd probably be worse than like calibrating carburetors. I mean sinking carburetors rather. Right. Maybe coolant temp sensor unplug. Um what else? What else can be unplugged here? What's what's being pulled on? Can't you unplug that? Is there another is there another bolt back here that's is this a connector, or is that just like an angle? I have no idea. Seems like a connector, right? Yeah, but how does it work? I don't know. Mm. Maybe I can salt again. This is all the same molded bracket. Even the bracket for the air pump, they're all in the same thing. It's a little annoying. It is. Especially because air pump doesn't want to move that much. <laughs> Air pump says I stay. Oh, clutch fan? What the fuck? Oh, no, it's electric. No. <laughs> um, it's, it looked like a clutch fan. But alas. So that unplug, coolant unplug. What is this? What? All right, so now we're at the point where we're getting ready to take the actual actuators out. So in order to do that, we had to remove this kind of wiring harness up here. Um, so there are six plugs up front. There's this one, which I'm not sure what it does. There are two down here towards the front of the of bank one. Um, and they are also held in with the clips, which you need to open up. Be careful not to pull them out of the block, rather just flip them open as shown. There is a, I think an oil pressure sensor there as well. And so that's the four clips on this side of the wiring harness. Then over on this side, there are just two clips. One is a coolant temp that goes right in there. And the other is, uh, I'm not really sure what this one is, but it, it plugs in. Right multi-connector. Right yeah, multi-connector to the harness. After those six, total six are done, four on this side and two on this side. Um, there's another multi-connector that's snapped in here over one of the throttle actuators. And you want to make sure you unplug that. 
and then unplug the two actuators themselves. Um, they're these big connectors and make sure you, you push firmly on the, on the little tabs um, but don't break them. Push firmly and then pull away from the connectors. These might be kind of tricky to get undone. Um, and from there you, you're going to want to make sure you loosen the two 10 millimeters at the front and then two at the back. One's back there and one's right there. And then once those are done you can kind of lift up the whole air pump wiring harness assembly. Make sure you don't pull any plugs off the harness. And then you should be able to more or less get down to the actuators in between the two banks. And how about prying that piece of linkage off that ball joint? Oh yes, yeah. so in order to remove the actuators, one of the first things you'll need to do is remove the throttle linkages. And so in order to do that, um, take a screwdriver. Take a screwdriver and slide it next to the ball there, and then lever, carefully lever just the, just the socket off of the ball, like that making sure not to bend the rod. And now we'll use a Torx T30 to undo the actuators. All right, so these are the two throttle actuators out of the car. Um, they really weren't too bad to take out once we had the uh, harness out of the way. Um, one cautionary note is the, one of the throttle position sensors is on the bottom here um, and it clips up to the bottom. And so be, take care that when you're lifting the harness out, you've already unclipped that or you've slid it out of its mount. Um, Very similar to the one back here. Exactly. Except 180 degrees upside down up here. Exactly. Um, and once that's done, you can kind of see the mounting points um, down there. I'll try to stick a finger next to them. Uh, it's a little dark. Oh, you can kind of see Not that. Not anymore. So there are the two central mounting points and then there are two on each side. Um, each actuator has three points. Uh, the actuators are the same part, so they're just flipped 180 degrees for each bank. And now they're out, now we're going to put the new ones in. A magnetic retrieval tool is necessary to uh, retrieve the bolts. Yeah, go ahead. More. Is it like a zero to one hundred percent throttle?